Age as we speak. Okay, ready to begin with uh, Texas Tech and Coach Pat Knight and his two student athletes, um, uh, Dwaylon Roberts and John uh, Robertson. Coach, we'll come to you first. You want me to say? Opening uh, statement, yes, sir. If anybody's looking for a house in Lubbock, Texas, I know seven of them that are available and vary in sizes. Um, with bedroom, you know, each of them have different bedrooms, different baths. So if anybody's looking for any real estate in Lubbock, I know of seven places available at a good price. That's my opening comment. All right, thank you very much. And now we'll go to the two student athletes and then we'll come back to coach, all right? Questions for two guys. First one, guys will be up on the front, here on the left. John, you had a hell of a game. Um, for some final comments. Questions for coach. Okay, here on the right. Coach, how would you sum up your career in Lubbock at Texas Tech? Um, you know, of course, in a, uh, on a disappointing note, but I mean, it was a great chapter uh, in my basketball career. Um, you know, 10 great years, seven as assistant, um, three as a head coach. Um, you know, it'll always be special to me. You know, this is a little different situation than what we went through at Indiana. I mean, I, I love the people, love the city and, and um, the college, you know, so it's not like next year you're going to be sitting there rooting against them or, or um, wanting them to do bad. You know, I really wish the best for them. And I uh, worked for three great guys, and, and um, Mr. Hans, Mr. Bailey, uh, Coach Myers. I mean, I, I'd say it's the next guy that's going to be there. He's going to work with some first-class people. You know, I just wish we would have won some more games, and, and, you know, I'd love to continue there. But I got, I got no regrets, and, and I, I lo love it there. I mean, you know, and so I'll always uh, – I have no problem ever coming back, seeing people. I'll stay in touch with everybody. And so it, it's, it's nice ending it this way because, you know, I've been involved and seen things in this business where it doesn't end very well. And, and this ended as probably as well as you, it could. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, now he, he's not as understanding as I am. But, um, but yeah, I've talked to him. And, and, uh, um, but that's just between, you know, that's between us, father-son stuff. And, 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 uh, but it's tough on him. Um, I think it's even more, t more tough on him than it is on me right now. And, and, uh, but um, I, I loved it there. It's a great place. And uh, whoever's the next coach there is going to be fortunate enough to get the job. Okay, look on the right. Hey, Pat, what about, you know, I know you're close with Sean Sutton. And you guys in similar situations, kind of that head coach and waiting, and then once that happened, you're, you're following your legendary dads. I mean, I'm not asking for regrets on your end, but was that, is that pretty difficult for anybody, much less the sons of legends, to replace them? It's tough. But I really think Sean got screwed. I, I didn't, um, you know, if I would have won. But I, Sean's a little different situation. And now that I'm fired, I can talk about that. He got screwed. They didn't give Sean enough, enough time. Um, and... Uh, that I think it's a, tra a travesty with how, how they treated Sean there. Um, and I feel good I can say that now. I've had to be quiet about it because um, he's one of my best friends. And it was wrong what happened to him. Um, but I'm in a different situation. But, you know, to follow up more on your question, yeah, it's tough, you know, to follow two guys like our dads. But, you know, we talk about it when they offer you a position, like you can't turn it down. And I didn't want to, you know, we're, we're not the type of guys that go through life, you know, I wish we could have or maybe we should have done that. It, they give me an opportunity to coach um, at, at uh, two Big 12 places. You got to take the opportunity. And, you know, it's unfortunate. They both, you know, we both ended up getting fired, but, you know, at least we tried. Can you say what went wrong in Lubbock or what went right and you, you didn't win enough, you had seniors? I know you told us at the start of the year, you go, we worried that we had seniors that this might be tough because they had lost a lot and we, we thought that might occur. Yeah, we just never could get over the hump. We came so close. I mean, again, tonight, I think this is our ninth game. We've lost maybe in the last minute. And uh, it's tough. Uh, and I don't want, I don't want to call players out. Don't want to, I don't want to get into all that. But I, I know from a coaching standpoint, you know, some things that – um, can be done differently and, and um, it's really not a talent thing you know it, to me it's more 
personalities and, and, and having a killer instinct and, and more chemistry. Uh, but, but, but I do know. Um, but to, to me, it's not for me to really talk about um, publicly. Anything else for Coach Knight? Okay, toward the back on the left. Coach, just a little bit on the decision to wear a suit. Just if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out in style. So, this I might as well might as well look good. And so uh, that, that's what I I, I did. I, and uh, I surprised my staff. I made them wear all their red shirts, and I uh, showed up. So they were a little shocked when when I did it. Swing to the right side toward the back. Yeah, I just got back in here a little late. Uh, could you talk a little bit about what you were able to do late to? Uh, get Missouri a little frantic and get them get, get the, the game close again well you know we started pressing them and, and we're able to get a lot of turnovers off of that and to capitalize and score once we, we got them to turn it over and um, our guys you know like that style of play um, and with the motion offense by playing faster you're going to get a lot of shots and get a lot of opportunities to keep staying in the game even if uh, they, they got up on us by some points we, we always felt you know if we just keep our head as fast paced as the game is, and the way our offense is, we can, you know, probably cut back into lead. But really, what I, I thought guys back in was just we start uh, pressing them, um, try to get back in, and it worked. And, uh, you know, and you're taking a chance too because they're such a good team and good guards. But it worked for them. I think we got them to turn it over three or four times just by pressing them. Closing questions for coach. Let's go to the extreme left by the wall. Pat, you almost seem. I don't know, relieved or you've done everything you could and it just didn't work out and you're comfortable with, with, with what you did, basically. Yeah, you know, one without great effort. You know, I gave everything I had. And uh, to me, that's all that matters at the end of the day. You can look, it's, it's not what anyone else thinks or um, if I admit it, you know, you, you know fans or, or administrators or even your family. I mean, it's, it's yourself. I mean, you're the one that's on the 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 hot seat and as long as to me you can look yourself in the mirror um and be satisfied that's all that matters at the end of the day so yeah i feel yeah i not that i'm relieved but i'm at peace with it i mean i did everything i could and i do wish we we could have won some more games but um like i said i really have no regrets it was a great experience and made me a better coach made me a better person um going through all this but um yeah i i'm 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 at peace with it Okay, final question for Coach on the TV platform. Pat, can you talk about going out with this group of seniors, a group that you kind of took over when they were freshmen when your dad left, and how much does that mean to be able to go out with these guys? Uh, you know, it means a lot. I mean, you get really close to these guys being around them for four years. And, and uh, so, you know, John's going to go down as one of the best guards ever to play at Tech. And, and, uh, but they're good kids, you know. And, and the great thing about this team is, no matter what they say about the record, these kids never quit. Never once quit. There's so many teams out there that, that they're all the way into the end tonight, and uh, they're not quitters. And, and uh, so to me, I'm, I'm really proud of that and proud to be associated with a group of guys like that that don't quit. And so I have no problem um, knowing that they're going to be fine when they get out in the real world. I mean, if they don't quit going through these circumstances, uh, the, the real world is going to be a little, I think it's going to be easier for them. All right, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you.